hi guys so a lot of people are actually having um problem setting up their online trader version 4 yes version 4 the latest version online trader version 4 um email settings like a lot of people are actually having issues setting their smtp and the mail sender so that means that your online trader script cannot or does not send in email and sometimes when you try to create an account it doesn't work because you have issue with the email sending problem so now i'm going to show you how you can fix it in few minutes but before i do that please please please, please my name is victor and this is VT design don't forget to hit the subscribe button yes first like this video because this is the video you are meeting up with right now so like this video first after liking this video the next thing is to subscribe to the channel yes subscribe to the channel so by that you'll be supporting me and growing my youtube channel and every link you need there uh, is actually on the description of this video so there are a lot of links on the description of this video that can actually help you on your web design journey so now let's draw head back and talk about how to set this up so this is a lot that i just installed i did a tutorial on it and the tutorial will be before this video so if you just see this video and you like this template you can actually go and watch the video of how to set it up so now this is it guys some of you like when you register on your land trader you say uh the people tell you like a land trader does not send in code land trader does not send my land trader does not send code or my land trader send code and the code goes directly to the um what's it called it goes directly to the so some of you be like your land trader script does not send in code your land trader script does not send in admin code to your um to your uh, registered visitors so here's how to set it like how to properly set up your online trader um, email set it or email sending yes those are called the smtp and the sender mail so i want to show you how to correctly set it so the first thing you want to do is to go create a web mail now a web mail i already have a web mail for this tutorial so for you if you don't know how to create a web mail there's all there's a tutorial on my youtube channel that teach you how to create a admin email or company email from your cpanel so it's actually the same thing as a web mail. you come and watch this tutorial then you learn how to create a web mail from your cpan area now let me go back so i already created a web mail. this is my web mail, and i'm using name cheap as of this time if you want to support me the link in the description there's a link in the description that will link you directly to name cheap so now this is my email admin email which i created now what you need to do to set up your online trader email to be working perfectly first come to your settings after logging to your admin come to your settings go to your app settings yes your app settings now click on um one preference yes email slash google login capture so if you click on it you're going to see send mail and smpt now this gives a lot of people problem like this gives a lot of people problem so now i'm going to be explaining it regarding to your web host first it will ask you email from now email from always recall email from now where is this email coming from now you want to ensure to put your admin email like this is your admin email you want to put it here this is it okay as you don't with it the email from name that the name of the when the email is sent to your uh, visitor what um what name do you want it to show us so this is it if you want to put uh maybe you've seen some email like from seller.com now you see something like jenny from seller.com that's it so you can put your name here but if you want to put your website name you can put your website name again your smt host your smt host just put in your website name not no url just put in the name just like this simple and easy don't put any other thing just put your website name the, or you can go to your um, email part and you're going to see your smt host this is it it's, it means outgoing server so this is it your this is your smt host so just copy it directly sometimes in some web hosts you see something like mail dot uh, that dot your domain name so just copy it directly and come here and paste it here then your smt port come to your um, outgoing server copy the code here this smt port yours may not be yours might be different because this is name chip so for yours you might be using the um, a1 uh, a1 hosting you might be using hosting motion you might be using good daddy you might be using um Google host whatever just copy your smt port come back here and paste it here this is it now the next is your smpt encryption smpt encryption now this part for your own web host if you come to the top here you're going to see something like secure ssl stroke tls setting blah 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 now you want to copy this this is only the ssl 
or TSL, copy any of the above. So I prefer using the SSL. So I'm going to put it here. Now the last part, SMT username. The username is the name from the email, which is the admin username here. So you want to copy it and then paste it here. Paste it here. So you paste it directly, that is it. Then the SMT password. SMT password is simply the password you use from your admin email. Where is that? The password you are using to log into this your web mail. So the password you are using to log into this your web mail, that is your SMPT. I hope you get guys. The password you are using to log into this your web mail, that is your SMPT. Now you want to go back, paste it, the password here. Once you are done pasting the password, come down and save it. Now this is the first one. That's if your website is using SMTP. But if your web browser is not using SMTP, you go to your send mail. Send mail simply is very easy to set up. What you just come here to do, first put your email from here. Put your email from name here. That is all in send mail. Ensure these details are correct. Now this Google login credential, if you want to add um, Gmail login to your uh, online trader script, it's fine. But I don't really need it, so I don't, I don't think you need it. Because it's better when people register directly. So if you want to set that, you can just go copy this, go to this link, um, console.cloud or and carry your client ID, carry your client secret code, and then you paste all of them here and then save it. But that is not our business for now. So now once you are done with this and you are done with this, you can either set up any of the above or you can set up the two of them. It's all left for you. For me, uh, for me I'm using Namecheap and so Namecheap just use SNTP. So now after setting this up, you click on save. If your user register, they will see an email. So let me go to my, let me try to create another account. So let me log out from this account. So if your email is going to spam before, it will stop going to spam. Let me click on get started. Now, let me use this number one. Let me remove one A. So let me use this, yes. Enter phone number, doesn't matter. Password, let me use this. Now once you are done, accept terms and conditions, then you click on register. So now it's telling you that your password should be at, must be at least eight characters. So I'm going to change the password. So once you are done, click on accept test and condition and click on register. Okay, design is already taken. So let me do something different. So let me use this as username. Okay, the details are all correct. I think it's 658. So let me check this my email. 658. Okay, I'm working correctly. Password, let me use password. Now, once that is done, I accept terms and conditions again, and then I click register. And as you are seeing, it is actually working and registering, and voila, it has logged into my dashboard. So I'm going to save this. Now, if we go to our email, let me refresh this. As you can see, very fast, very fast. Welcome to a little. As you can see, very fast. This is it guys very very fast your experience is going to be smooth and i don't follow so much trouble and you can edit this email from your admin area but as you can see guys the email came in very fast and it was not sent to the spam folder it was not spent sent to the spam folder it was sent directly to the inbox so guys that is how you can set this up guys it is very very easy don't have any issue now if you want to purchase the online trader scripts there's a link in the description that you can click on and you can visit our website and purchase the script just click on the link and then you visit the website and purchase the script. The price is there and everything is there. You can purchase the script if you don't have it. But if you already have it, you can just learn from this. But if yours is not working properly, because a lot of this script actually go to 500 server error. And due to, due to, this is due to some circumstance. So if yours does not work properly, you can come and buy this one from us at a cheaper rate and then we can actually help you set it up. So guys, 
thanks for watching this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i will see you on my next video that's going to pop up on your screen right now have a nice day guys see you next